Okay, so in today's video, I'll be showing you how to make this trippy shockwave effect. You want to go on YouTube, yeah? And you just want to search for any overlay. It doesn't matter what it is. It could be anything. But in my case, I'm just going to use a shockwave effect. After I've imported it, I'm going to change the screen mode to screen. That way, it's transparent over the clip. Then I'm just going to pre-compose and I'm going to make sure I tick move all attributes. Then I'm going to click OK. Then I'm going to change it again to screen. Just so that it's transparent. But now we're just going to add chromatic displacement and then change the displacement alpha to ignore. And now you can mess around with the displace amount and the soften displacement. I usually like to keep the soften displacement kind of low, but not too high. So that way it's not like, um, it's not too bouncy, but you can change it to however you want. I'm also going to keyframe using two keyframes. I'm going to add, I'm basically going to fade it out. So the first value will be really high, something like 70, 100. And then the last frame, I'm just going to put it to zero. What you can also do is if you change source to effects and masks, you can add effects onto the overlay and it will translate onto the distortion. So for example, if I put heat wave on this overlay, you will see heat wave effect on the displacement, if that makes sense. But yeah, other than that, hope you enjoyed the video and make sure to like and subscribe. Peace.